Go ahead and take a look at what this place is all about as the dogwoods are in bloom and the fairy lights are strong above. This is such an iconic place to be as New York City's restaurant industry has suffered. Still 45% of restaurant workers aren't back on the job, but Tavern on the Green is bringing theirs back and this is the only way you can get a seat because tomorrow night they are completely sold out. Welcome to Tavern on the Green. Thanks for coming back. After nearly 14 months of being closed, the storied Tavern on the Green is back. Jumbo wants crab cake. The kitchen's again alive with chefs chopping, plating, drizzling, chilling up perfectly blended cocktails, the sublime decor, and of course, the quintessential courtyard bedecked with fairy lights, all conspiring again to create that special blend of magic you can only get in this one place inside Central Park. In the heart of New York, it's amazing. This icon, 87 years old, officially surviving the pandemic when some 5,000 city restaurants could not. Born from a humble sheep barn in Central Park, then reimagined by Robert Moses as a restaurant in 1934, it's been an eatery to New York's rich and famous and those visiting New York. And stars aplenty have dined here on the silver screen. It's special magic captured in so many films from Ghostbusters to Wall Street to Woody Allen Creations. I don't know why we have to be out here. Owner Jim Kyola still carries the battle wounds from his COVID closure. We thought we were gonna lay everybody off for two weeks and we were told that the, the unemployment would cover that. And then two weeks went by and two more weeks went by and two months went by. And then a full year and more. But today, the kitchen is a well-oiled machine again, prepping for their grand reopening tomorrow. We've sold out opening night, which is this Thursday, the 29th. They should expect a clean and fresh and beautiful tavern with a beautiful new menu, very spring, very English pea, very green, folk, you know, sort of celebrating the bucolic place the Tavern on the Green is. Kyola and crew will welcome about half as many diners as usual, capping at 450. Two thirds of the staff is back with plans to get to full staffing soon. Today, I'm getting a taste of that famous food that's brought them back to these tables for decades. So here we have our lamb dish and our vegan cauliflower steak, which is so good. And this is one of the, my favorites. It's the octopus with goat cheese and honey dribbles. See the honey? It's really good. And so, a toast to all of us. Cheers, thanks for Cheers coming. Cheers to Great your to reopening. You. Welcome. And to you for coming. Thank you, can't wait to have you. And even Broadway is going to be here at the Tavern on Sundays and Mondays. They're going to have Broadway stars coming in to sing and perform for us and remind us of everything that we're missing. And of course, no celebration would be complete in the morning without a mimosa. You know Kirsten was going to get that done. Dave, come on over. I poured one for you as well. Let's make sure we can have a little celebration this morning. Here we go. Dave, we're going to have a little toast to New York and restaurants coming back. Yeah. Cheers.